Hello, um, sorry it's been so long, I literally have been pretty busy. First things first, I finished my second year and about three weeks ago maybe I moved out. So I'm back here till September, which means I can actually vlog without feeling really self-conscious. So a couple of weeks back I went to Slam Dunk Festival, which is responsible. Oh, also Busted. Busted was fun, I saw Emma Blackery. and they sang Lemonade and I really like Lemonade the song and the drink but mainly the song um, and it was really good because it was the third time I've seen them and when I first saw them it was like before they broke up so I was about nine if not younger felt quite weirded out at the fact that I was seeing the band who was like my favourite band for years and it just didn't feel the same but it was still great at the same time if that makes sense I went to Leeds with my boyfriend and we went for the weekend just to sort of explore and stuff but the main thing was to go to Slam Dunk. I had the opportunity to meet New Year's Day and I really really wanted to because I adore New Year's Day and for some reason we didn't realise how long the queues were going to be to get into the actual venue. There was like three sets of queues and they were all really, really long. Um, so by the time we actually got in, the meet and greet had ended and I couldn't meet them. So I was really sad. But at the same time, I also got front row, sort of, sort of like second, but I was like squished in the middle for them. And Ash literally stood here and she put her hand on my head and went like this. And I was like... <laughs> It was a beautiful moment. As soon as that finished, we ran off to see Panic at the Disco, and that was incredible. So yeah, that was a really, really good weekend. Uh, then the weekend after is the weekend which I'm mainly going to be talking about in this video. Uh, I just wanted to talk about that briefly a little so you knew why I've sort of not been making videos and stuff. But uh, the weekend, I think it was like two weekends ago, I went to Liverpool and Anime Gaming Con. And it was in Liverpool City Centre in the Holiday Inn, which is next to St John's Shopping Centre if you're from around there. But it was like in a weird place, like it was a weird place to have a convention, especially considering there was quite a lot of people, like there was a massive queue to get in and... When you sort of stand them around, like all cosplayed up, it's just a bit awkward. But yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. It was really, really good. Um, I stayed in my best friend Jess's house for the weekend, so we could get ready together and get the a taxi in together rather than like individually just awkwardly cosplaying like in a taxi or on a bus. Yeah, I stayed at my friend Jess's house. It was wonderful. She's got a lot of dogs. They're really cute. Hello. Come here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at you. Isn't she just the most adorable dog you've ever seen in your entire life? When we went in, it wasn't really how I expected. Like, it was sort of smaller than I thought, but I kind of liked that because it made it more intimate. When we went in, there was like computers for you to play games like Mario Kart, Rocket League new and old games and stuff, uh, which I played a little bit of and got severely beaten <laughs> at all of the games on it because I'm not great at those type of games. And while I was there, I just wanted to play Fallout, but there was no option to play Fallout and I was really sad. Uh, a really cool thing about the con is that Kelsey Ellison was there and I, like, if I'm going to be completely honest, I didn't really have a clue who she was. Like, my best friend was really, really wanting to see her because she loves her. So I was like, okay, I'll tag along, see what this is about and stuff. Um, and she ended up being really good. Like, she sings and dances to, like, Japanese sort of stuff. Like, she writes her own stuff and then she does covers of bands like Perfume and stuff. Um, so it was quite interesting. But the only thing that kind of annoyed me a little bit was that the audience was, like, mainly little teeny tiny people. And, like, they answered, like, they did a Q&A and... Some of the questions that they were asking her were really like kind of stupid, like, do you ship down a fill? And 
you know, things that are completely irrelevant to her as, like, an artist and stuff. So, like, me and my friend being, like, the oldest people there pretty much were, like, just sitting there, like, we need to think of some, like, legitimate questions to ask this poor girl who's travelled, like, all the way from Barnsley <laughs> to, uh, get asked, like, if she ships Dallin Phil. I was like, oh, no. So I kept putting my hand up and she had the mic and I was just like, oh, this is so awkward. But it was really fun and, like, she was lovely. My favourite part about Liverpool and the main game and con was definitely the karaoke. Even though I didn't get up and sing because I'm really uncomfortable with that kind of stuff. It was just really fun to like join in while you're sitting watching everyone else. Like I was singing like Disney songs and Slipknot. It literally rained from like the Lonely Island, Disney, Slipknot, like... <laughs> hey, great time and like literally like we stayed until the end of the karaoke's on both days because it was just that much fun while i was there i attended a youtube workshop which was run by Torathena, who i personally have to admit that i'd never seen any of her videos but i recognized her because she owns the comic book store that i used to go to um and it was really quite interesting because everything that she said i sort of knew anyway being on YouTube for like seven years now, nearly eight, I kind of picked up a lot of the things, especially considering she's only been on YouTube for a year, but she's got a lot more subscribers than me, so clearly I've got a lot to learn from her. There was stalls there. I bought this sticker, which I think is adorable. It was only a pound um, from a girl called, like, it was like Sakura Sparkle or something. I found a YouTube channel. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, Sakura Sparkles. There's the website and stuff is it sakura or sakura because i've always said sakura and then we were doing like an icebreaker thing and i said oh sakura or something someone's like oh sakura i was like have i been pronouncing that name wrong like my entire life probably it's quite interesting but yeah i got this and i could if you can see it in the background i got a baymax hat so i was wearing that all day uh, i just realized i haven't even told you what i was cosplaying as and that's like the funniest bit for the saturday which was day one my best friend jess went as harry he sees mia um from Harry he sees a Mia. <laughs> She's a main character, so a lot of people recognised her and was getting pictures with her and stuff. Now it was Jess's idea that I dressed up as Mikuru from the same program. Program? Is it a program? I say it was a program. Same anime. Um and basically Mikuru is sort of like Haruhi's little like pet, I'd say. Like she sort of dresses her up in seductive, like revealing, promiscuous kind of clothing and tells her what to do and practically sexually abuses her a lot and it's it's quite heavy like but at the same time it was interesting and when she told me to like cosplay her I was like I, I can work with that so I turned up on the Saturday when it was full of children in an Anne Summers May costume with a dog lead and a dog collar around my neck and just spent the entire day dragging me around by the dog lead because this is apparently to do with the theme of the anime and then I had a guy walk up to me and say you do realise this place is meant to be family friendly and I wouldn't say your cosplay was he was like it's pretty inappropriate and I was just like this is quite uncomfortable like I feel really awkward as it is getting dragged around by a dog lead but okay like, some guy walked up to me with a camera and he was like, can I film you for my music video? So he was just, like, zooming in on me, like, doing, like, full body shots and stuff. And when I when I went on his YouTube channel to check to see where it was, he had made, like, five videos of all different people who were there. I wasn't in one, so I'd like to know what he was doing with that footage of me because I'm quite concerned. Um, for the Sunday, I went more family-friendly, appropriately dressed, even though there was less children there, so kind of did it backwards but I went as Ramona Flowers from Scott Pilgrim and it was probably my favourite cosplay I've ever done. Like, I really love doing Harley Quinn but at the same time my Harley costume needs a lot of work and I felt quite comfortable with my Ramona one. Just cut my wig before we left and her yard was just filled with like my wig hair. Um, the wig's not there, it's not visible. <laughs> I thought it would be. It's there's my wig section thing but yeah um <laughs> it was a really good cosplay like not to toot my own horn but i was really proud of it i had a massive hammer that just made me and everyone kept complimenting it thinking i'd made it and i felt quite 
bad on your ask, like, oh, thank you. It, it was no, like, hard work at all. Um, but yeah, a lot of people got pictures with me and pictures of me then, so that was quite weird, but interesting. And Tora Athena, the woman who did the YouTube workshop, also commented on my Facebook post thing of a video, saying that I was the best Ramona she'd ever seen, and I was like, thank you. <laughs> like, it was really nice, because I'm getting, like, I'm pretty new to this cosplay stuff, so I wasn't really expecting it to be that good, but it really was, and I think the hammer made it, so thank you, Jess, if you're watching. <laughs> so yeah, that was basically my weekend and my life of what I've been up to lately. I've got a few things ahead of me, so I might film what I can, and hopefully try and get this channel regular again, so I will hopefully. <laughs> no, I'm not making any promises, but I really am going to try to see you guys soon. I hope you all have a wonderful summer. I know I will, and I've missed you guys, so bye! <laughs>